let's talk the Bradley Fighting Vehicle in 60 seconds or less. In the 1960s, the Army would create the MICV-65 project in an effort to find a replacement for the M113 and M114. This would eventually be cancelled but lead to the development of the XM-723 with it being further developed into the XM-2 and XM-3. In 1980, the XM-2 was adopted as the M2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the XM-3 as the M3 Cavalry Fighting Vehicle, with the first combat units receiving them in 1983. The Bradley is equipped with the 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun along with a coaxial M240 machine gun. On the left side of the turret is a retractable dual tow missile launcher with the M2 being able to carry 7 missiles while the M3 carries 12. The Bradley would see use throughout Europe during the 1980s but it wouldn't see combat until the next decade. It would be during Desert Storm that the Bradley would destroy more armored vehicles than the M1 Abrams. It would see use in Bosnia before returning to Iraq during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The Bradley has seen various upgrades over the years improving its survivability and overall lethality. Thanks for watching.